right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the car. Take off the mask. I am at the Tickle Toad today to share with you guys my two favorite things here at the Tickle Toad. But before we start, let's get out the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? All right, first up, let's get our napkins put there. I got two ketchups. Don't need a knife and fork for these meals. For, so first up is the curry rolls. If you're here, you get an appetizer, share this with somebody. There are three uh, curry rolls that they hand make here at the Tickle Toad. Uh, and then they deep fry them and then they cut them in half. So there's basically six pieces. And again, you can share this with uh, two other people or one other person and you can divide it up nicely. Paul was just making this for me. So uh, unfortunately the new laws here in Ontario, Canada, or at least Toronto area, York region, is you're only allowed to have five people in the restaurant at a time. I believe you can have more on the patio, uh, but I'm here to help out Paul. The other thing too, is we're actually gonna try and bring back cook and review just for you and just for you. So we are going to actually cook the next thing I'm gonna eat, uh, which is the steak on a, a chapata bun. Oh, check this out. Doesn't that look amazing? This is the number one thing I love to eat at the Tickle Toad. Uh, they have a regular steak one, and then they have the blackened. And I was here maybe a week ago, had the blackened. I'm like, I have to make a video on that because it was so much better than just straight up steak. The blackened is fantastic. Let's go in for a close up. All right, let's first take a quick peek of this red pepper sauce. Look at all those spices, it looks amazing. And it is amazing, because I've had this before several times. Every time I come to the Tickle Toad, I always get this. And then we've got these curry rolls. Inside looks like potatoes, curry powder, spices, and other good stuff. And then they roll it in kind of like a, a wonton type pastry, and then seal it up, and then they roll it in this batter, crispy batter, and then uh, I'm, I'm not sure if they blanch it, then freeze it, for, and then when you come in and order, they throw it in the microwave, get it all loosened up, throw it in the deep fryer, and then it comes out to this golden brown goodness. Let's take a bite. All right, first up, first piece going in. Going in for the sauce. It tastes amazing with the sauce, by the way. This came out of the fryer not too long ago, so I'm gonna be as gentle as I can, careful, cautious. Wow. Super crunchy on the outside. Nice and fresh ingredients on the inside. Oh, and it is spicy. Oh, it's got a little kick to it. Uh, it's not a crazy amount of kick. It's just bearable for people like my wife who uh, doesn't like super spicy things, but she loves these and usually will eat at least two of them and leave me one when I bring them home uh, to share with her. She'll, she gets more than I do because she loves them so much. Mm. Oh. Oh. Still pretty hot. Woo! Let's dip some more. All right, this piece looks good. They all look good, don't they? Let's take that beautiful curry roll. Look at all that goodness inside. Dipping this next curry roll into the sauce. Does not look amazing. Are you hungry? I bet you are, man, because this thing blows my mind every time I eat it. Cheers. Mmm. Just a nice overall curry filling. Like I said, guys, the first time I ever had this, I'm like, when did you put that on the, the menu? Because I love that so much. And again, every single time I come here, we get it, so. Mm. So good. Saving the other two for my wife. Happy wife, happy life. Am I right, fellas? <laughs> Next up is the black and steak sandwich on the ciabatta bun. Let's open that once again. Let's go in for a close up. Oh my goodness. One of my favorite things at the Tickle Toad is the fact that they've gone from 
a different kind of french fry to these thick cut steak fries and they are wonderful with ketchup and uh that was a mistake they they picked up the wrong bag and all the customers loved it so much they've kept the steak fries let us know in the comments below do you prefer regular cut fries or steak cut fries because i've been to several restaurants now and if they have steak cut fries i make sure i order it every single time and over here is the blackened steak as you could see when he was cooking it he gets the steak he puts it into the bin of seasoning puts it onto a hot plate lets it sizzle and cooks it to my favorite which is medium to medium rare and paul does a perfect job on that every time let's take the lid off and then he does some sauteed onions mushrooms and just before he closed the lid for me we threw on some hp sauce that is definitely a must as well he puts these in the oven puts them on the grill gets them all nice and soft and toasted all right guys it is time to start eating one of the other things too guys is Paul is getting rid of the styrofoam stuff. It's not good for the environment whatsoever. He is going with like a bamboo type container and cutlery for the future. They're looking into it. They're trying to make it work. Hope you guys check that out. If you're going to do the ordering online or phone in your order, come pick it up. Wow. Check that out guys. Look at still steaming. That's how hot it is. I'm a little scared. Could be too hot. Quit screwing around. Just eat it. Mm. The fresh bun. Um, and the blackened seasoning will knock your socks right off. It is that good. This is my second time having the blackened, but I've had their steak sandwich multiple times i hope you like mushrooms because it is covered in perfectly sauteed mushrooms an onion it's still seeming people that's uh, a good thing so as you heard me in the beginning we are trying to bring back cook and review just an update for you guys Paul was on a motorcycle accident about a year and a half ago, and uh, it's just been a real long struggle for Paul, uh, plus his business, plus COVID. Uh, it's just been really hard and tough for us to get together and make content for you guys. We really want to make content for you guys. We just can't really find the time. Paul is wiped out all the time, so uh, and Paul is the star of that show. So we're working our hardest. And today I just had to go to a dentist appointment. So I thought I'd drop by the Tickle Toad. Uh, and then I'm like, well, might as well make a video. And then Paul's like, why don't we cook it at my house on Friday? So I'm eating it here at the Tickle Toad to hopefully bring more people in to have uh, at least order from the Tickle Toad, come and pick it up curbside or drop in, pick it up, whatever. If there's space in the patio, if there's space inside and you're allowed in, then sit down, eat, tip heavy, and uh, we'll keep the Tickle Toad alive but he is gonna make this for us at home. And then in a future cook and review, we'll do the curry rolls. But he says that takes a long time. It's a lot of a lot of prep and, and uh, a lot of moving parts to make that one. We can't do both in one show. So we're gonna do the steak in one show, show you the seasonings that he's put on that. So if you live in another country, another state, another province, uh, and you can't make it to the Tickle Toad, Paul's gonna show you and share with you the spices that he puts on his blackened steak. Keep eating. So let us know in the comments below how badly you wanna see Cook and Review make a return on KBD Productions TV. Paul and I look forward to every single one of your comments. Start writing, I'll keep eating. I'm also coming off a 20 hour fast. So breaking a fast with a blackened steak sandwich, phenomenal. And those curry rolls. And as for my fries, we put a little Heinz ketchup on there. We can do a fry at a time or we can spill some out and do some dipping. I don't mind doing it this way. Don't waste any ketchup in my little carry-out bin. Yeah, I'm so glad that with this style fry, it's just a better cut fry. 
Love it. As I was eating these fries, I realized Paul put so many French fries in here that there's tomatoes down here that I usually put on the sandwich. Let's put this tomato right there, that tomato right there. Put that lid back on. He also gives you a pickle. I said, I don't like pickle with my steak. So you can leave out the pickle, save it for somebody else. And so he did exactly what I need. Oh, the tomatoes are just sliding out. <laughs> it's such a big sandwich. Hey, ooh la la. All right. It's so big. Ooh la la. Saved by the paper. When you have it blackened, it's just a nice peppered steak. It just tastes so good. Definitely tastes better with the tomatoes too. Mm-hmm. Good combination. A little steak cut french fry. A little steak. This meal is definitely doable in a car, but it is definitely a two napkin meal. Trust me on that one. If I attempt to put this on there, it's just gonna squeeze out again. So, one. It worked. We've reached the saddest part of the meal, and that would be the last bite. Cheers, guys. Mm. So good. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, my two favorite items here at the Tickle Toad. Check out their menu online. If you wanna find something else on there you wanna see me try, leave that comment in the comment section below and I'll come back here and do it just for you. And don't forget to leave your comment letting us know how badly you want cook and review to come back and make a triumphant return. Start writing. If you guys love these videos and you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out that video down over there and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.